Some 600 women in the Sorogu in the northern region are to benefit from a new share processing factory. The facility funded by the U.S. government will, among other things, provide a safe environment of work for the women of the Tium Taba Women's Cooperative. The share tree is a source of revenue for women. Processing the share nuts into share butter is, however, a difficult job for the women. The women use crude methods in extracting the butter from the share nut. The United States, in efforts at reducing the drudgery women go through, funded a share processing plant at Sorugu through the West African Regional Mission. At the opening ceremony, U.S. Ambassador Sullivan lauded the efforts of the project partners. She called on members of the community to protect the share trees and parklands to promote the industry. This facility will empower women by providing them the space needed to safely store and process kernels while creating a one-stop marketplace for direct sales to commercial buyers in the United States and other markets. The Managing Director of Global Share Alliance, Iran Edu, assured the women of ready markets for the processed share butter. As part of effort to protect the parklands where the trees grow, the GSA has designated July, every July, going forward as a share month. Then in 2020, we will mobilize about 1 million women and share stakeholders across eight West African countries and plant about 10 million share trees on 16th of July. The leader of the Tiyumba Women's Cooperative, Mary Nap Al Hassan, said the facility will help them rake in more revenue. The capacity has increased, and that shows that more money. Because if we used to come here to process only three bags, now we are going to process six bags per woman. And that shows that we have expanded. The United States Agency for International Development and its partners since 2016 have provided 250 warehouses that has generally increased income for over 137,000 women across West Africa. The facility is made up of a needing shed, a machine room and packaging rooms, among others. It is expected to increase incomes for over 600 Ghanaian women in the collection and processing of share nuts. 